Hey there, Mr. Holcomb here again with another session of the Math Behind the Module. This is lesson 16, and we're, it's from ratios to rates. So ratios can be transformed to rates and unit rates. Example, introduction to rates and unit rates. Diet Cola was on sale last week. It cost $10 for every four packs of Diet Cola. How much do two packs of Diet Cola cost? In order for us to answer this question, we can easily do it in our head, but we're trying to get in the process of figuring out what our unit rate is, which is given on the shelf and store, but we're gonna show you how to calculate that yourself if it is not given. Okay. So we're talking about packs of soda and cost. So I'm going to do a table where I'm going to put packs on one side and costs on the other. So four packs of diet soda cost ten dollars. What we want to find out is what does one pack cost? So I'm going to call my tax X, and I'm going to call my cost Y. And we have an equation that says K equals Y divided by X. So I want to know my constant of proportionality or my unit rate. So Y, in this case, was 10, and tax X was 4. So if I take 10 and divide it by 4, I get 2.5. Talking about money here, so I'm going to put a zero there. And we just found out what one pack of soda costs. So my K is 250. So one pack times 250 is 250. And now we're going to answer the question, how much does two packs of soda cost? Well, if we use the equation y equals kx, in all of these, they all work. So I know my y, when I'm trying to find my y, I know my k is 250. And my x, in this case, is 2. So y equals $2.50 times 2, or $5. So the answer to the question much do two packs of diet soda cost? Five dollars. Yes, you can simply say if four is ten, half of four is two, half of ten is five. You can do it that way, but I'm still trying to solidify the idea of K, Y, and X. B, how much does one pack of soda cost? So now that we have already done this, my answer to B is 250. Okay. So I can answer any question now if I use this format and I come up with my equation of y equals 250x, I can answer the question for 100 packs of soda. Okay, exploratory challenge. Keegan went to Gamer Realm to buy new video games. Gamer Realm was having a sale, $65 for four video games. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna make that same type of table, video games, and cost. So if I make a table, this is my x, this is my y, I want to know what k is, and k in this case would be the cost of one video game. So we are told that $65 for four. So four, 65. k equals y over x, which equals 65 over 4, which equals 4 goes into 6 once, remainder 2, 4 goes into 25 6 times, remainder 1, 4 goes into 10 2 times, with remainder 2, and 4 goes into 25 times, That's $16.25. Okay, if you want to do it the long way or use a calculator, I prefer you try to do it the long way. And 
avoid calculators so you get good practice. All right, so now I found my K, 16.25. Let's write that right there. 16.25. So now I know how much one game costs. And I can find any other value. So now I know my equation is Y equals 16.25X. Now I'm going to continue on and answer what they're asking. It says he bought three games for himself and one game for his friend Diego. But Tegan does not know how much Diego owes him for the one game. What is the unit price of the video game? Unit price of the video game. Right there. What is the rate unit? So unit rate is the number. Rate unit is cost per game. This is the rate unit. All that means is what rate, what unit are we using, unit of measurement, to explain our rate. $16.25 is our unit rate. Cost per game is rate unit. And if I said the whole thing, $16.25 per game, then that would be the rate. Everything all together is called rate. Next question. Four football fans turn, took turns driving a distance from New York to Oklahoma to see the big game. Each driver set the cruise control during his or her portion of the trip, enabling him or her to travel at a constant speed. The group changed drivers each time they stopped for gas and recorded their driving times and distances in the table below. So use the given data to answer the following questions. what two quantities are being compared. Distance and time. What is the ratio of the two quantities for Andre's portion of the trip? So Andre's ratio is Two hundred and eight to four. Okay, or I could say two hundred and eight to four. Or two hundred and eight divided by four. And when I do that division, two hundred and eight divided by four is fifty two. And it says rate, and if I only write 52, that's the unit rate, and it's asking for rate, which means the unit rate plus the rate unit, and the rate unit is miles per hour. So Andre's rate is 52 miles per hour. Okay, answer the same two questions in part two for the other three drivers. So now that we have an idea of what we're doing here, now we say Mateo's rate is right here, 456 to eight. Okay, 456 divided by eight is 57 miles per hour. Jaina, or Jenea is 300 to 6. 300 to 6. 300 to 6. It divides to 50 mph. Okay? And finally, Grace. 265, 5. Grace is 265 to 5. So it's 265 colon 5, and that uh, divides to be 53 miles per hour. Okay? For each driver in parts 2 and 3, circle the unit rate and put a box around the rate unit. Okay, circle the unit rate, the number, put a box around the rate unit. 
rate unit is the measurement miles per hour miles per hour miles per hour so unit rate plus rate unit equals rate okay moving right along c a publishing company is looking for a new employees to type novels that will soon be published the publishing company wants to find someone who can type at least 45 words per minute. Dominique discovers she can type at a constant rate of 704 words in 16 minutes. Does she type fast enough? So I'm going to type in, I'm going to do a table, words, minutes, okay? I need to know a K. And they want at least 45 words per minute. They want to have 45 words per one minute. She does 704 words in 16 minutes. So I need to know what her rate is, or her unit rate is, which means K equals Y divided by X. And again, my left column is X, my right column is Y. So when I plug those values in, Y divided by X. Oh, I have this backwards. My fault. Pause. I'm going to make this minutes and this words. So let me just redo this here real quickly. So I want minutes here and words. Okay, the words is the dependent variable. I made a mistake there, so let me fix this. So now we have 704 over here, and we have 16 here. The amount of words depends on the amount of minutes, okay? Words per minute, okay? So words is your dependent. The more words you type, the per minute. So we have 704 words per 16 minutes. Okay, the word per means to divide. So 704 divided by 16. Is 44. Words per minute. And they're looking for someone who can type at least 45 words per minute. So she is a little bit slow. So she does not qualify for the job. Okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at the lesson summary. A rate is a quantity that describes a ratio relationship between two types of quantities. 15 miles per hour is comparing miles to hours. Describes a ratio relationship between hours and miles. If an object is traveling at a con constant rate, 15 miles per hour, then after one hour, it has gone 15 miles. Two hours, 30 miles. Three hours, 45 miles, etc. When a rate is written as a measurement, the unit rate is the measure, i.e. the numerical part, okay? The unit rate is the numerical part. So when the rate of speed of an object is written as a measurement, 15 miles per hour, the number 15 is the unit rate. Here's our unit rate. This is our rate unit. And the whole thing is rate. Okay, there's the summary of that lesson. All right, go do your problem set.